Alright, so before I decided to start the stream, sounds like my voice is cracking a little bit, that's not good. Anyway, so before starting the stream, I went ahead and took a look at my equipment and my gems. So I just added on some slightly better gems to everyone who already had them. Although I do actually have a debuff resist gem now. I don't think I have a debuff plus gem, which I really would like to put on uh, Melia and Ricky. Uh, Melia's ether might be too high, by the way. No, okay, so the ether up three was like more or less the perfect amount for her, it looks like. It's like the ten or so ether. Well, actually, she only needs ten, so yeah. So I'll give her one of the less effective ether ups. Oh. Here we go. I'll give her one of Charla's. There we go. And then now I'll give Sharla a better one. But anyway. I could make some ether up four gems as well. But I haven't uh haven't really been bothering with it. But anyway. So w when I went into equipment as well, uh, we had new headpieces. We finally got a new set. We got the Orion type. So as I was scrolling through like the headgear and checking it on everybody, you know, you see everybody gets like horns. It looks weird. Actually, Ryan kind of looks okay with it on. It's not that bad. Uh, Melia gets this weird looking hat, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> Same with Ricky. <laughs> gets like weird looking cat ears and like a, like a beetle, um, horn. And then Sharla gets a hair color change. I have never seen this before, so I know that this is new. And then I went and I looked up the armor, and I was right. It used to be, like, this ugly-looking yellow helmet for her. Um... And then this armor set that I'm wearing, of course, the, the Titan type armor set, uh, its helmet used to look different too. Where is it? The helmet didn't used to have this like scanner look on it. It used to be another ugly looking helmet thing. It was like another looking like beetle helmet. So they have changed some of the old armor sets to give them new looks in general specifically it looks like for Sharla for the most part I mean Melia her Titan armor set is more or less unchanged they edited her uh, her little crown though it's tiny now it used to be a lot bigger uh, so yeah I don't I don't know I don't know what else they changed but yeah that, that was a shock I was like what <laughs> they changed Sharla's hair so now I'm sitting over here wondering, oh, what else did they change? And we have all, okay, and also for her Magna hair, I think it did always look like this, but I could have sworn it was an updo, I just, you couldn't really see the back of it all that well. So it probably was always like this. The front definitely looks more or less the same. Anyway, uh... So yeah, that, that was interesting. I kind of want to equip it just because it's so strange. And it makes Charlotte look like almost an entirely different NPC. Or like just a different character in general. She's not an NPC because you can play as her. But anyway, yeah. We're going to put that on for right now since we're just running around. But that, that was something I definitely wanted to show you guys. That was weird. <laughs> so. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's continue on. So we were... Out here exploring some more of the map. One thing that I totally forgot about, just totally forgot, 
is a thing that happens in this game, which is really good, is, uh, when you... Let, let me, let me not press all of the wrong buttons again, because I get myself confused. Uh, when you fill, when you are on a map, and you discover every single, uh, location, so like anti-air battery one, you've got the, the mech on wreckage site up here, you've got the cylinder hangar, you know, all the stuff that you would get experience for discovering, the game will automatically fill out the entire map for you. So, like, we haven't found everything in, in say, like, uh, no, we have found everything in Tefra Cave, more or less. At least the Tefra Cave that we have access to. So, of course, everything's filled out. Except, well, okay, we haven't found everything. Um, see, we haven't found everything in Bionis' legs, so there's still these weird patches of area that we haven't seen. There's still some weird patches over here. Uh, we still haven't discovered all of Colony 6, but the Ether Mine, we discovered everything in the Ether Mine, so it filled out. So me riding this thing around for, like, 20 minutes, and then, where is it, uh... Writing this around was totally unnecessary. I forgot that that was something that existed within the game. Uh, it does explain why Satoru Marsh filled out, though. Even though we hadn't gone in every single, like, nook and cranny. Especially down here around the Igna territory. So yeah, that, that's one thing to keep in mind for this game. Uh, so like Magna Forest, once we discover all of the landmarks here in Magna Forest, we won't have to swim out and fill in this whole huge falls area. Uh, Frontier Village, that's why Frontier Village filled out as well. So we found every, every uh, landmark there. Aerith Sea, we're working on that. So yeah, Aerith Sea will be the easiest. When we found all the landmarks, it will fill out like instantaneously. Anyway, enough uh, wasting time on that. Let's just get back into it. So, I also leveled myself back down to level 55. Oh, because... Even though that one unique monster is so high leveled, we do have a little bit of time to fight him. So, we can come back here and fight him. Even though they're they're gearing up for a war with the with the mech on again, it's not gonna happen anytime soon, so we don't have to worry about it. We can always come back later. Although I think we were close to beating him, so maybe we'll still be able to take care of him when we're done here. I'd still like to be able I'd still like to do it now, so I don't forget. Because knowing me I'll forget. I could have sworn there's something down here. I know where the game wants us to go. Oh, well, it does kind of want us to go this way anyway. Because the game wanted us to go down on that pathway over there. But I felt like going this way. Also, I saw ether crystal deposits. So, I'm, I'm looking for those somewhere in this game. And who knows, maybe there's a unique monster down this way. I honestly don't remember. Oh. Always gotta collect the item orbs. The main reason why you want to collect item orbs while you're here, now, is because it just, it makes it easier for doing, like, Colony 6 reconstruction. That's all. And like I said before, it's like it might, might be difficult to get back here. Ooh, here we go. This is what I wanted. Yay! Finding new stuff is always a good thing. Gimme. I knew there was something down here. No, nothing else? Okay. And there was a unique monster down here. Fate Lobolus. Alright. Let's go kill it. Everyone, I'm not gonna go. change my level Don't down. Even though he's only level 51, I think this is uh, reasonable. Now 
Alright, I'm gonna need y'all to leave me alone now. I'm officially done, uh... Did we just miss with like a defense down? Alright, let's go ahead and use another buster real quick. Get some AoE damage in there. Because we're working towards a chain attack. Don't hit. Oh, nice, Shulk. That's what I should have made. I should have made more agility gems. Although, our agility is actually pretty decent right now. It's just Ryan who's having a hard time. <laughs> Him with that. Let's do a chain attack. Uh, let's start with red arts. Oh, he's broken. That's why. Okay, well, that was just going to end the, the chain, I guess. Now everything else is dead, so... That new double attack that we got is actually pretty good. Oh, Ryan. Oh, never mind. Let's do another chain attack. Backslash. Worldly slash. The kill and sword drive. To do a ridiculous amount of damage. Actually less than Lariat, somehow. I'm kind of impressed. Lariat is a good move, though. Alright. Boop. Good job, Ryan. I'm proud of you. Can we get some more Ryan armor? No. Okay. Anything else around here? Oh, okay. So this is like the end of the walkway, I guess. Oh god, there's another one of those assholes. The big ones. I hate these guys. However, there is a platform up here, so we can try to take them on without getting our ass handed to us. And then we'll jump down and get those item orbs. Hey, come back here. Let's see if we can lure him over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. He's gonna come back around. Everyone, let's go! Leave no, stay it here. No, Make stay it a here. Swift victory. See me. Notice me, senpai. That's a bad joke. He's not going to notice me. However, I can't... Oh, there he goes. Now he notices me. He notices me when I didn't want him to. I'm going to say, dumb man, take the aggro, please. Thank you. So we're just going to charge up our Monado Arts real quick. That's going to hurt. Okay, good. It hit, uh, it hit Dumbass. I can't, apparently I can't use a buster up here. Oh, Titan Laser 5, that's gonna hurt. Ow. Why didn't I get a cutscene for that? But okay, we killed it, so. It's alright. Um, let's check our arts. So I have Monado shield all the way up to eight, it looks like. So, well, secure the radio tower. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Good thing we came down here. Otherwise we would have missed that entirely. Ooh, a run frontier. Those are actually kind of rare in this area. I think it's those and the uh, foxglove, De uh, delirium foxglove. Those are really rare collectibles. I say as I get another one immediately afterwards. 
story of my life. All right, well, let's go secure the radio tower. Video killed the radio star. That's a melee unit. Kind of want to fight it. Fight me, because there's a we bunch of item wars behind you. Buster! Yeah! So, since we were having so much trouble with that last uh, unique monster, now. One of the things about this game is that levels are actually really important. Like more so than uh, regular games. Because this game... Oh, Unbreakable Bond! Wait, did we get Max Affinity? <gasps> we did! We got Max Affinity with Brian! That's our first Max Affinity! Of course, it's almost always gonna be Shulk and Ryan, because you have Shulk and Ryan from the beginning of the game. So, this is an event that surprises no one. It's still exciting, and I like it. Alright, die for this. Thank you. Man, what a bunch of jokers. But we mustn't be careless. So now, in skill trees, you can actually go and max out your skill links with Ryan. So one thing I could do if I really wanted to is I could try to do some skill links and try to take that boss on now being, like, basically the same level that he was. Especially considering that now, if Ricky's in our battle party, we can reduce cooldown during the night. Or, you know what? Can I link that? Can I, can I link that to Shulk? Or maybe Dunban? Maybe Dunban. I think I need to link that to Dunban. Uh... Yes. Increase strength during the night. Increase strength during the day. Increases movement speed. Yeah, give me that. And then now for his other... For this one, does that have to be equipped to somebody? Battle party. I want to link that to Shulk. I'm gonna actually take that off. Uh, remove. There we go. Has Dunban learned his art yet that I want? Critical Drain? Oh, he's so close! As soon as he learns that, I'm gonna equip it to, uh, to Shulk. Because that, that'll be critical for him. I believe he and Dunban already have enough affinity for that. Yes. He actually has two circles. Cool. Alright, I don't have to fight you right now. I don't want these item orbs. Alright, there's not anything down here. There's a weird pod bay platform down here. Not sure what, what this is for, but it has an item orb on it, so we're gonna get it. <laughs> As usual. It's not unusual. Sorry. Can't help myself, you guys. Alright. So we'll hop down here to the radio tower. Which has a, an item orb sitting on it for some reason. What are you? I want you. Why would you spawn one there if I can't get it, game? Why do you do this to me, game? Just, why? I'd have to jump off from another, from up there and be able to land on this thing to get that item orb. You so mean. Oh, oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, God. He has a, uh, in this item orb. Okay, so he's level 55. Ooh. All right, let's see what our max level is. Maybe, you know what? Our max level was 57. So let's see what it is. Oh, it's 58 now. Okay, cool. 
We're still not strong enough to take on, uh... Oh, Ryan's is 59. Alright, well, let's make it 58 anyway. How did Ryan get to level 59? That's so bizarre. I understand if Shulk was also at level 59, but... Huh. I guess, at some point, Ryan ended up with more <laughs> experience than Shulk did. I wonder if it had to do something with, like, all the quests that I was accepting as Ryan. I might have something to do with it. Okay. Maybe I benched Shulk a little too much. No, just kidding. Alright. So now it'll be a little bit easier. However, I'm gonna have to Monado purge this man as soon as possible. Speaking of, when I was looking at leveling up arts... And Monado arts... Okay, purge... level up one more so now that increases the amount of aura seal and the damage or the the length of time for aura seal so 13 seconds isn't bad now that i can actually spam that way more than i used to be able to we can't lose make it a swift victory it not enchant mine. where's purge there it is there we go Against the odds, we choose to fight. Blossom does. I'm gonna keep just slowly hitting him so that I can keep charging up purges and extend the time on it. I gotta heal Dunban. Oh, he's uh, he's been toppled. Let me get Dunban up first. Sorry, Ryan. But chain attack. This is the Monado's power. I'm gonna purge him in the chain attack. So we don't lose it. Dunban, because there's so many enemies. Lariat. Oh, Dunban is talent art! Blossom Dance! Finally, Blossom Dance got the chance to kill something. I am so proud of you, Dunban. 204,000 damage, dude. That was amazing. But we must what a bunch of jokers. <laughs> I love Ryan. Anything else up here? Besides all these item orbs? I don't think anything, actually. So we beat Lightning Renove. And that was a quest we also finished. Yep. So we did all of... We did all of the Sword Valley quests, apparently. Okay. Huh. I forgot that that was even one that existed. Uh, I don't remember if there are any in Galahad Fortress. Which we're just about to get to. No, it doesn't look like it. I could have sworn. Okay, it looks like there's just unique monsters there. Okay, so. Done with that now. Grab this, grab this. Wow. I. The second I say, I say an item orb is rare, I get a whole bunch of them. Thanks, game. Alright. Let's go up this way. Can we? Can, can we? No? No? Okay, game. Okay, then we'll just, you know, teleport back, I guess. And go in the way you wanted me to go in, which was over here. You want me to go down a level? How far? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, how far down a level? Apparently two levels. Got it. Alright. 
Follow regular enemies. Speaking of, let's change our level back. I think... Yeah, so apparently level 55 is the highest for the unique monsters in Sword Valley. We're missing one somewhere. The control tower. We'll go back to level 55. It's apparently not inside of Galahad Fortress, because if I recall correctly, Galahad Fortress is actually its own... Yeah, so it must be in here. Because Galahad Fortress is its own area. Oh, it's around here. Because this is the control tower. Did we find all the landmarks? No, we're still missing some. Maybe we'll get one up here. Or maybe there's one behind the third gate that we haven't been able to get to yet because that really strong enemy is back there. <laughs> so he's here somewhere. Maybe this is him up here. Yep, there he is. He's another uh, spike enemy blue. too. Oh great, and he has a paralysis spike. Brilliant. Come on. Come on, Shulk, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Thank you. Good lord. Friggin' paralysis, dude. We're gonna encourage Dunban. He's really hurt. He's really hurt. Ow! Alright, I need, uh, I need Dunban to take aggro. Alright, because we're paralyzed, we're just gonna try to spam arts and finish the battle. Oh, here we go. Chain attack. That'll end it. Cylinder. Okay. There are apparently a shit ton of enemies below me? Above above me? Hello? Enemies, where are you? I I'm very much confused. Oh, they are they are below me? How am I supposed to get to where the game wants me to go? Am I still too high up? Do I have to be on this level? I think I do. How do I get down here? Without killing myself. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's a lower level. Let's try this way. Oh, speaking of, we finished that one. Kamikaze Boon. So we're done here, except for the... Oh, hello. 
Except for the really strong guy. So I think I'm actually gonna replace Buster with Purge on my Arch Palette. It's like Buster's good for damage, but I end up using the. Oh, skill trees. Did you learn it? Oh, so sad. I got a little excited. Uh, he's really close, though. What did Charla learn? She learned increases ether when HP is at half. Jeez, we are really running out of space on our skill trees. Specifically on Charla. Shulk is the closest, though. Maybe we'll have all our skills soon. Uh, what am I looking for? Um, levels, was it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we can make ourselves a little, I think we gotta wait until we're level 60 and then we can take out that boss pretty reliably. Uh, do we still have to go lower? Yes, we do. Hello. Not sure how you saw me, but hello. Oh right, I was gonna switch uh, switch the position of Buster and Purge. Annihilated, dude. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's where we can go down. This is what you wanted for me, isn't it, game? Yes, this is what you wanted. You wanted me down here. Alright, so when everyone's level 60, we'll go back and we'll go fight that, uh, that unique monster. We should be good then. Keep forgetting to do the thing that I say I'm gonna do. That's what I get for not paying attention. Oh, he has a topple spike. Thanks, guys. Thanks for toppling it, you know. It's fine. This is gonna kill us. <laughs> oh, we can't die in a chain attack. I love it. Alright, well, it's dead now. <laughs> Alright, note to self, don't, uh, don't break those enemies because then my teammates will topple it. And it will just, it'll just be a bad time. R arcs. Yes. There we go. Now I have better access to Purge when I want to use it. There's still more enemies lower than me, apparently. Or maybe the ones above me have respawned? Oh no, they're all right here. Hello. Hello. I, I heard you want to fight. I'm feeling it. 
No, don't topple it, Ryan. these guys. You know what? Let's change our party up for right now. Let's go ahead and do Melia, Ricky, and Dunban, because I still like having Dunban in the party as my tank. Alright. But first, I'm Orbs. Uh, actually, before I forget, actually, 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 though, change equipment. Uh, Ricky does not have his mech on weapon equipped. Oh, Ryan has HP up four. Ricky already has enough HP. He doesn't need that. Uh, I'll go ahead and give him... Mm, I'll just give him strength for now. Oh no, he had a... Poison... Give him Blaze Plus. There we go. Alright. And then, let me look at my arts again for Melia. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. This represents no problem whatsoever. Ricky and Windy himself. Leave this to me. Manifest yourself. The ether is flowing through me. Manifest yourself. Summary, is this the final one? Goodbye. He's still alive. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. This represents no problem whatsoever. I don't have time for small I wonder if dots would be good against the, the big guy. This represents no problem whatsoever. I don't have time for small Ricky, more like this. Manifest yourself. flowing through me. Agreed. Begin. Manifest yourself. Oh, that's right. Ice, you have to be next to the enemies. I forgot about that. I forgot that ice was a, uh... Was a... An AoE around Melia style spell. And there we go. Oh, that's right, and Ricky can steal stuff, so... This is a fun party. Part of me wants to do Melia, Ricky, and Sharla, but Ricky is really bad at holding aggro without like 8,000 aggro up gems on him. So it's not really worth it. Alright, this is where I have to go. It looks like. Looks so cute in this outfit. 
my queen. Alright, oh, just kidding. Here's our way in. There's no turning back. We can't let them find us. Let's move. Right. All right, I gotta take that headpiece off, Charlotte. It doesn't even look like her. <laughs> we'll we'll save we'll save that for another day when we're just doing side quests or something. <laughs> it just does not look like Charla. He learned it! Finally! Uh, what's better? HP up buff. Agility with... Okay, we are not doing naked... Uh, naked. We're not doing naked Dunban strat, so I'm, I'm not too concerned about this. I'm wondering if naked, if naked Dunban strat actually works with uh clothing like if you put on uh cosmetics will it still work because he's not gonna have actual gear equipped just cosmetics that's one thing i'm curious about probably still works but it's it's not that good it's fine it's just not that good speaking of Apparently that was the last thing we had to discover, so there you go. We have officially filled out our map, and all we had to do was, like, half the work. So we still got this guy up here. He's gonna he's gonna be in the, the back of my mind. Maybe the forefront of my mind. Have we reached level 6? Nope. Oh, wait, it was Ryan. Has he reached level 60 yet? Nope. Alright. So we're not there yet. We'll have a quick save, though. And we will pop into Galahad Fortress. Let me change this. Here we go. So there's three in Galahad Fortress. I don't remember if there are any quests in here. I don't think there are. But we do get new music. And there we go, we're inside Galahad Fortress. Fortress stronghold on Mechanis. Torrents of Bionis Ether flow inward via the Great Sword. And that's so cool. Like you, you start out playing the whole game on Bionis and then you slowly move over to Mechanis. And it actually shows you the the difference of the two. It's really neat. I like that. It looks good. Oh man, I forgot how cool this area was. Look at this. You're just on these catwalks over the uh, the Ether River. It was always this blinding green, but I think it looks way better now. Oh man, look at that. As far as I'm aware, it's not instant death either if you fall into it. Like, you just take slow. Okay, goodbye, Ricky. Yeah, so you just take damage over time if you fall into it. It's about a thousand damage. It looks like per tick, but of course, thank you, Ricky. Um, and Dunban. But if you fall into it, you uh, you can't get out, so you will die. <laughs> Fiora's in here somewhere. Let's get looking. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm ready for anything. I'll trash any mechon that tries to mess with us. Alright, lift battle. Defeat mechon within Galahad Fortress to see if you can find a way to unlock the lift. 
So our goal is to unlock this central lift here. So that we can get up to what I'm guessing is a fight with Eggle to uh, save Fiora. But we have all these other construction units in here we can fight, get some experience, maybe we'll get to level 60 before that. So then we can deal with, uh, what's his face? Did we get a new battle theme? I think we did. Get some more ether crystals here. Yeah, we did. We did get a new, uh, a new battle theme. So we're gonna go ahead and use Chill here. Because all we had to do was just run into the middle of those enemies. Fortunately, we lost our opportunity to use, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Mind Blast, words. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so we are in the main maintenance bay. The game wants us to go back behind us, but I want to see what's in here. A lot of mech on. Let's fight him. Now you shall witness all power. Gentlemen? You dare challenge here, Bonnie. Gentlemen? How can this be? This is gonna be uh this is gonna be something right here. Thank you, Dunban! Chain attack. Uh, Ricky, do this. And do this. Oh, that was beautiful, baby. Oh, beautiful. We're gonna use Mind Blast here. We're gonna summon another bolt. And then we're gonna use another chain attack. Oh, I was kinda hoping we were gonna continue that. Oh, we, well, okay. Well, that's why we didn't continue the chain attack. We killed everything. <laughs> Well, that was fun. We actually have some pretty good AoE on our team, if you think about it. We've got Melia, who has two AoE arts equipped to her right now. We've got Ricky, who also has two, sort of, three AoE arts. Um, let's go to this one. And Dunban has one as well. He has one AoE art. He does. I could equip him with Thunder. It is an Ether art. The thing is, though, Thunder is really difficult for the AI to use. You have to be facing away from the enemies. Uh, skill trees. Dunban learned another new art. Speaking of, before I forget, skill links with Dunban. Give me that critical drain. Yee! Alright, let's go. Oh, I see the unique monster. There he is. 
Precious Retrato. Hmm. I do think these guys are our best choice. However, he's level 53, so let's make ourselves level 56. So he's also only a uh, blue enemy because we're about to fight like 800 dudes in this one room. And we're also going to save. <laughs> Even though we'll teleport right back off to the side here, I still kind of want to save. All right. So we're going to keep Melee out here for now. Leave this to me. Oh, I'm in the way, Gunman getting in there. There you go, Gunman. Now we're gonna go ahead and fire off a Mind Blast through the wall here. Go ahead and use Ice here. Use Earth. Summon Bolt. Part of the other reason why we brought Ricky into this was because we can use uh, Ricky's healing art. Okay. I want to kill this guy first. Thank you, Ricky. I'm afraid of toppling this guy. I don't know if he's gonna have a topple spike or not. Dead shot four. Okay. Uh, it's not gonna kill, but I'm gonna warn. Oh, thank you, Ricky. So now I'm gonna warn Dunban. Okay, that was weird. I'm gonna warn Dunban so he can use Serene Heart. I'm gonna go ahead and summon another. Uh... I'm gonna wait for this to wear off. Alright. Use this. Use this. Summon Bolt. Good job, dumb man. Okay, so we have sealed him, potentially. And use ice. So I might, I might have to take off Say Sorry from Ricky. Because I actually don't want the AI using it to remove all of my debuffs. Uh, Ricky, use your, your heal for free on Dunban. So I'm going to stand in the line of sight for it. Okay, good. He didn't have a... Oh, there we go. He didn't have a spike, so... We were worrying about nothing, basically. Now we got all these treasure chests to loot. There is a single mech on still in here. That we didn't kill. Well, you know what? I'm I feel bad, so I'm gonna let you join your friends in uh blue. No problem whatsoever. Leave this for me. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. All right, let's go back down to fifty five. Actually, let's check. Are we level sixty? Nope, not yet. How about Ryan? Nope. Alright, I think 
That's all we can really explore here. Everyone, stay on your guard. Make it a swift victory. Take it. Try hard. Manifest yourself. <laughs> I actually forgot how much fun playing Melian is. Oh, I forgot to take that art off, Ricky. Oh, bad. Easy monsters. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, what's stronger? Do I have another? No, those are the only ether arts that Ricky has that's worth anything. Let's equip this for now since we're fighting Mechon. And extra confusion would be good. Oh, hello. Now you shall witness all power. Don't hold back. Throw that in there. Grab this. Run in here. Summon ice. Pick up summon bolt. And then do a chain attack. Manifest yourself. Um, let's just do burning eight. Here I come. Soaring. All right. That got us some good uh, AOE damage done. Now we can use a mind blast here. So let's try to move back out. There we go. As many enemies as we can with that. Summon copy. Summon flare. Let's go ahead and do another chain attack. Manifest yourself. Nice. Is that the last one? Timing is everything. Remember that. <laughs> Was that little too much? And there we go. Ricky may well be Wasn't too bad. Ricky suddenly feel afraid. I think Dumb Man just made a joke about Nabon. Why is there always just one left? Just just hanging out in here. Bruh, you didn't want to join the fight? Or he was just really interested in this item orb. This represents no problem whatsoever. I don't have time for small fry. Ricky, no like this. Manifest yourself. when you can share it. Not bad! Not bad! Let's press on. Let's press on and on and on. Either I didn't mine that crystal deposit earlier, or it's mineable again. Either way, I'll take it. Give me that. Alright, let's call... call... oh. My bad. Now let's call the lift. Oh, we're going down, not up. My bad. Hmm. Okay. So the game wants us to go straight ahead. But I don't want to do that. Unless... You know what? Let's go ahead and just save real quick. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a cutscene telling us we just can't go through this door. But just in case... 
Yep, it's not even a cutscene telling us we can't go. Oh, okay. Well, let's let's have the cutscene. Where are we? Looks like the control room for an ether blast furnace. There, look at that. Hmm. So this is what supplies the Mechon with ether energy. Shulk, what's that? Oh, looks like fun. Ricky, want to ride? We didn't come here to mess about, Furball. Time to bounce on. Hold on. If we can stop that piston, we might be able to shut down the blast furnace. Nice idea. Cut off the Mechon's ether supply. Ricky, say we try! Yeah, but... How are we supposed to stop something that massive? If we can stop the turbines driving the piston, it should work. And the turbines should be nearby. Right. Let's search for them. All right, now we have the mission. Supply station battle. Stop the turbines that are generating the power. Oof. Come on, pillow. <laughs> my, uh, one of my coworkers made these pillows that I'm using for my back. Um, I feel so bad because they were super fluffy when she gave them to me. Now they're... <laughs> they're a little flat. <laughs> uh, control panel in the first turbine room and the second turbine room. Okay. Alright, so it wants us to go into either of those side rooms. Let's go around this way, maybe? A bulkhead door. It is locked. Uh, this one's open. Let's go through this one. Oh, I want that. Ooh, what's the red thing? <gasps> I wonder if it's a key to open the, the blast door. Or the bulkhead door. Blast furnace conduit. Interesting. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, the music is definitely different. Alright, so we've got some sound-based enemies up here. They're actually kind of high level, shockingly. There we go. Throw this one at it. Grab that. Oh, I'm already out of burst mode. Are you serious? I like just got burst mode, dude. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Hi, hello. So apparently before it died, it decided to uh, summon this guy. God, he was taking so much damage from dots. Did you see that? That was crazy. All right, there are the pistons. So we can actually walk around them. This is really interesting. Piston control room. Oh, okay, I guess we... Okay, so we have to activate that panel to turn the pistons off. That's good to know. What about this? What does this do? Oh. Okay. Good to know. Okay. So we went this way for literally no reason. Let's just go back. Let's 
hoping that would give us something, anything, but it doesn't look like it. Hello. Oh, hello. Ooh, Ricky is angry. Goodbye. When you can share it. Okay. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Everyone do good. Anything else in here? No. All right. So we'll activate this. Turn it. Turn the turbine off. Not sure how we open this glass, but all right. Let's go turn this other one off. Names, I guess. Bye. <laughs> this to pop up. Use this. Summon flare. Summon ice. I don't think I'm gonna actually tag it. Oh no, he walked into it. And now let's use a chain attack. Another one. Nice. Maybe I should have used a uh, mind blast and uh, which one call it. Nice done, man. All right. Dialect glyph. All right. Which one was that guy? Glacier Akon. That's what his name was. Okay. Open this chest. Take this item orb. Turn this thing off. Quest complete! We have now stopped the first and second turbines. Now we can go out there where we just were before. I want to get to that. I want to open that door. Can I open it now that the thing is shut off? No? Okay. I want to get over there, too. I guess I have to turn it off first, maybe? Oh, yeah, the enemies respawned over here because I died. Whoops. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Ricky like fighting easy monsters. Leave this to me. Ricky not like this. Succumb to the power of Earth! Fighting! Do your flash! Fighting! Manifest yourself! I'm gonna go Alright, go by. Not bad! Not bad! Not bad! Not bad at all! So apparently it doesn't summon those monsters in. 
by default. As in, like, those monsters aren't just hanging around out here for no reason. There's enemies down there. Oh! Hello! Alright, we gotta get down there. He's level 55. Skill trees! Oh, wow. Um... That'll be nice. Actually, can I link any of her ether skills to Ricky? Increases chance of finding rare crystals. Increases the accuracy of ether attacks? Mm. Wait, does Ricky get a, a debuff skill? I thought he did. Maybe it's Melia that gets it? Extends chill duration, yeah. Um, can I link that to Ricky? Oh, is that a unique skill? Yes. So anything that's diamond shaped, that's a unique skill. So only that character can uh, use it. As in, you can't link those skills to other characters. Kinda sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Ryan just learned another new skill. Ooh, grants haste buff when an attack misses. That's actually pretty good. Uh, can I also link critical drain to him? I think I can. Oh, that's why. He got the EXP buff from, uh, from Shulk. That's why he has more. Uh, take these off. That's a... What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Octagon shape? Okay, who else has Shulk octagon shapes? Not you. You do. And Melia does, so we'll just go ahead and equip those to the people who have them. For now, anyway. So if you saw there, all of that stuff requires uh, affinity coins. You get affinity coins, you get one coin for leveling up, you also get one coin for each unique monster you defeat. That's one of the only reasons why fighting unique monsters is, like, really important. So you cap out at... Oh. Nice one! We did it! This should prevent them from mobilizing any large mech on squads for now. Hopefully, we've improved the Allied Forces' chances. Hold steady, my brother. Looks like the door's been unlocked. Nice. Let's get down to the blast furnace. If we're lucky, Fiora might be down there. All right. So that uh, that unlocked the door that we wanted to unlock. go through here yet? No? Sad. Alright, let's just teleport back. Alright, that guy was level 55. What? Hello? Why are you in here now? You weren't in here before. I mean, we'll fight you again. With more experience. But yeah, you weren't in here before. Make it as quick victory! Manifest 
A chance of it not working with uh, the fact that I don't have a good I don't have a, an anti mech on weapon equipped to Melia which is fine it's not like I really need it that bad all right uh, can we examine this computer at all no all right what level are we now because I was gonna change my levels He's level 55, so we gotta be at least level 50... 57, I think? Ah! Okay, Shulk has reached level 60, finally. Let's do, uh... Let's do 58. Okay, we're not yet to level 60 with Dunban. Dunban's really the one that I want to get to level 60 because I'm looking at possibly doing Dunban, Rhine, and Shulk again, but I'd like to get them all to level 60. So if we can get that off of this fight, that would be perfect. Although I guess I'll take level 59. I think we might be able to beat it. whole bunch of tweets on my phone. Okay. I don't need to worry about any of those right now. Oh, here we go. We got some more mech on that we can fight on the way down there, so... appreciate that we're getting some decent uh, cylinders from this. I guess it would make sense that the since the Mechon are hoarding ether, right, that they're hoarding ether crystals as well. In terms of they'd have them on them. Like the cylinders and all that. It, it actually makes sense. Ether input stream. Okay. Actually loads of enemies down here. Now you shall witness our power. Your dead challenge, Hitopon. Make it a swift victory. Hitopon, very good. Manifest yourself. 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 Manifest yourself.
Oh, wait. Oh, wow, actually, where we have to go, there's a bunch of ether crystal things over there. What's up here? We came down that side, but what's on this side? fight these guys on the way back down. Oh, is this gonna lead me to that, uh, that key I was looking for earlier? Or whatever, that, that red item orb, which I figured is a key? Yes, it is. I bet you're a key, aren't you? Second art core coil. Oh. Oh, that was for the item orb that we got. Art core coil. Okay, so we need to collect a lot of things here in Galahad Fortress. Speaking of, I didn't realize that we had a collectopedia here. Wheel lurker. Okay, so we're gonna need probably two more of those. Arkrose Pike. Okay, that's probably a good item for Ryan. <laughs> this represents no problem whatsoever. Creepy can win by himself. I don't have time for small fry. I feel the ether building within me. Nothing says me so. Oh no, I've been toppled! Help me! Someone pick me up! Thank you, Ricky! Not bad. Not bad at all. Everyone do good! Alright, so those enemies that are like almost huh? ten well, let's see, they're they're like eight levels lower than us. We are getting basically zero damage from fighting or zero experience from fighting them, so I'm not gonna fight them. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight them. Usually if they're black, as in the uh, the bar for the enemy level is black, they're not worth fighting. Before we go up to that uh, that area that the game wants us to go to, I think I'm gonna like I'm gonna fight this unique monster, and I think I'm gonna skip travel if I'm a high enough level to go fight the uh, other guy, the uh, other unique monster. And then when I skip, okay, good, we got another one. When I skip travel back, I'll probably try to or hopefully be able to pick up more. Uh, did we get every every landmark? No? Okay, well we're not I don't think we're low enough to fight him yet. I'm gonna say we're not because we haven't procked every single Ricky Dunban. Guys, I need you what? to get out of the ether, don't okay? You dare give up. Ricky dummy rumbling. What? Don't you dare give up. Guys. Guys. What? Guys. Don't you dare give up. Guys. Guys, seriously. 
Ricky, seriously. I need you at full HP for this. Alright, he's stuck. Hold on. There he goes. Guys, I need you to stay with me here. Don't jump into the ether stream. Alright, we're gonna save. We're gonna try to, uh... Fight these, one of these guys first. Also remember, don't topple these guys because they have a... But we mustn't be careless. Ricky like fighting easy monsters. They have uh, spikes. I'm not sure if I finished that thought. Thank you, Ricky. I'm kind of just sit here and wait. Is when you can share it. But we mustn't be careless. All right. Um, easy monsters. I think we might be able to just fight him even with these two on the side. We'll just have to focus them. Everyone, stay on your guard. Don't hold back. Use this. Manifest yourself! Uh, Manifest yourself! Dumbass! 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 Somebody pick me up. Someone pick me up. Thank you. I didn't want to do that. Alright, we're good now. 
Manifest yourself! Think this is the last one! Ricky wants to be like me! The time is now! I'm gonna wait for our uh, arcs to charge back up. And we should hopefully kill it here. Nope. It's still alive. Ow! What is that move? I've never seen one of them use that move before. Maybe it has, and I just wasn't paying attention. It's like an ether explosion. This is a good place to get uh, ether crystals, though. And I got another Arcor coil, so we, we're good on those, it looks like. So I might not need to collect more, but maybe I'll collect more anyway. Also, I think if you skip travel, the ether deposits might, um, like, as in change areas. These might regenerate. So I can get a couple more of these as well, which would be nice. Um, oh, let's open the chest that's back here. But I guess I forgot to open. Find part L. Quality, what was that? Quality plunger? I was thinking it was, should be a quality plug. I think. All right. Let's check our levels again. Maybe everyone's level 60 now. We are not. I think if we bring Shulk, Ryan, and Dunban, we might be okay. I mean, we could always try other parties. Uh, let's check our equipment real quick. Ricky... Fish Biter. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's literally a fish. Oh my god. Oh. My god. This is like on par with the freaking frozen tuna weapon from Dark Cloud. I love it. It's hilarious. It fits Ricky so much. Ooh, that sword looks sick. Pull it out, Dunban. Do, do, do the thing, Dunban. Thank you. That looks really cool. It doesn't fit his aesthetic as much as the, uh, the katana does, but it looks really cool. So we'll use that, that other one later. Um... Ooh. We have one that's gold instead of silver. I like that. Okay, um... We've got Ryan in light armor, but can we can we get Ryan in... Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and get Ryan in some... Heavier armor. Holy shit, we got a lot of, a lot of those uh, Orion gloves. This is actually the first area where you can... The first area, anyway, that I would normally get uh, my Aerith sets for my final endgame, like, aesthetic. But the thing is, is... Now this game has dress-up mode, so I don't have to worry about that. It's pretty great. Okay. Yeah, we don't have Titan Type 1 for... Yeah. We still haven't found Titan Type 1 for those pieces. I'll have to figure out how to get those later. Ricky getting it, Ricky. Steal yourself. The fight has only just begun.
Where do I want to respawn? Dolgan Outpost or Inalda Control Base? Um... Wondering if the Monado wound is technically faster. I kind of want to try this party to see if dots will work. Because I don't think he had a spike. I can't topple him. Um, maybe you can topple him in a chain attack? I gotta be honest, I'm not really sure. It's the only thing I don't like about the Macon um Where's that? The Megon wound, the Bi the Bionis wound. I forgot. I think it's the Megon wound. Oh, hello again. I don't know why you're interested in fighting me. I'm definitely high enough level that you shouldn't even be paying attention to me anymore. But I guess I'm not that high leveled? Maybe I should go to the outpost. Whatever. I really just want to beat this enemy. I think I'll just save over by him and then reload my save if we die. It'll be a lot faster, I think, than running all the way over there. Especially considering I don't have a uh, quick step on Melia. Speaking of. Do I have a agility up gem for her? We'll give, uh, we'll give Ricky one, two. She'll defend. Sleep resist. I don't think he has a spike, so I think I'm gonna give him blaze defense. I don't think he does paralysis. give him, uh, what was the thing I was gonna give him? Oh, agility up. There's agility up. Here we go. There you go. It's not a lot, but hopefully it'll help. Delirium Foxglove. Yeah, that's, that's the other one that's a little harder to get. Try Melia this time. Everyone, stay on your guard. Ricky, not like this. Don't hold back. Summon out. Ow, God, that hurts so much, dude. Why Ricky's still alive. Because I gave him Blaze Defense 5. I'm wondering if I should stick that on Dunban. What? Don't you dare give up. Oh. Alright, Ricky could just steal experience from him. That works too. What? 
Don't you dare give up. All right, so party, and equipment. Uh, Blaze Defense five. I'll leave that on Ricky. Who else has Blaze Defense? Blaze Defense four. Actually, we'll give that to Dumb Man. Give Ricky. Do I have a Blaze Defense three? Yes. We'll give him two of those. Where is it? Um. How's Dunband's Ether Defense? 456. Ellie's is 449. I'm hoping this Blaze Defense will help. Try it. Let's try this. If not, I'll try. Uh... I'm wondering if we should summon. You know what? I think we're gonna go ahead and summon three chills or two chills. Ether damage down. Yeah. So we'll summon. We'll summon two ices at the beginning, and we'll hold on to them for a bit of the fight. It might help a little bit. Prepare yourselves! Making more like this. Don't hold back! Alright, that did help, actually. I'm gonna warn Ricky. I'm gonna have him heal us. Ricky. Born Ricky. I'm gonna have you heal Dunban. Hit him with that. Stop trying to hit it. Um, we're not at the side, so let's use bitey bitey to get some more stuff on it. This also is bleed, so let's see if we can extend the duration of bleed. My turn. To use Mind Blast. I know that'll reset the chain. But we'll go ahead and arc seal it. None can oppose us. The next one will hit. We'll use another Mind Blast. How can this be? I feel it, Dumbad. Roaring Titan stamp, ow! Sorry to bother you. 
Laser, that's gonna hurt. Actually, not as bad as I thought it would. I mean, warn Ricky, heal us again. Alright, let's go ahead and summon another, uh, let's summon an ice now. gonna kill him. But if I summon ice, I'm dazed. No, 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 no. Heal Dunban. Thank you. Oh, Titan Stamp is bad. Oh, that's gonna kill him. Oh god, it killed me and Dunban. And Ricky is dazed. Oh man. We were doing so well and then it had to use Titan Stamp, dude. We lost anyway, so... Oh, dang. Titan Stamp hurts, dude. Alright, we're gonna have to use Shulk. Because then we can have him use Shield. I'm wondering if I should do Melia as Shulk and Dunban. Although Shulk's AI is really bad. Uh, Melia might end up holding on- I'm hoping- I'm kind of hoping she holds on to her elements. Let's try this. Try this, see if this works. I'm actually gonna go ahead and save here. Again? Keep forgetting you're here. I just remembered Shulk also has critical drain, so that might help a little bit too. And at least we have a uh, Monado shield. So we can do something about Titan's stamp. We can try to boost uh, Dunban's agility high enough to deal with it. I know I said I was going to reload if I died, but we'll just do it one more time, I guess. Let's throw this on for the hell of it. It probably won't activate, but... It's worth a shot. Also, Shulk is one level higher than the other two, so that might help too. 
Right. Let's do this. Don't hold back. I expect nothing short of our very best. Summon Bolt. Purge will do anything. Well, shoot. All right, I'm feeling it. We can definitely do this. I guess we need a uh, Charla for this. This isn't going well. Yeah, let's try Sharla. Or even Ricky. Because Ricky does have that nice heal. Save again. Try this this team, maybe. If not, I'll switch in Sharla. We can't lose. Don't hold back. Ricky, no like this. Because Sharla will be able to get rid of uh the debuff. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and warn Ricky. Because he can heal the whole party. We need full power, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky be careful. Okie dokie, so you can do it. Ricky, so excited, gonna burst. Hero part on the rampage. I'm really feeling it. Don't get careless. Stay strong. The time is now. Understood, Okay, what are we saying? Black matter again? Okay. So let's go ahead and warn Ricky. Nothing's Thank you. Ricky, uh, heal us again because it's free. Alright, what's next? Titan Stamp. So let me try speed. Minato, lend us your power! Come back! Don't overdo it! Okay, good. Ricky healed him. Can I heal Ricky? Be careful! Heal him again. It didn't kill him. That will though. Of course, we're dazed. I should have given Ricky a dazed defense. I can't do anything for that. Come on, Dunban, you gotta hit criticals to not die. Oh, damn it! Why didn't it give me a vision for that? Oh, man. Why didn't it 
give me a vision for that, dude. Look, now no sleepy time. I, I can still do it. You can do it. Ha! Oh, damn it. God bless. Alright, I need to re res Ricky first. Okay, good. I can actually block this with shield. I'm thinking actually if I had Sharla, I might win. So you know what? We're gonna run. I see it. So I think if I bring in oh god, that hurts. I hate hate that move. So maybe if I have Sharla, I'll actually be able to win. He's level fifty um because he's level 57. No, because we're actually sort of living. Okay, go away. Go away. Stop. Got free items from him, though. Okay. Let's try... Sharla. Anything that we can use, maybe from Dunban to, uh... Increase our increases agility when at half. did the wrong one. I want this one.
actually wanted to oops, uh, remove that. Increases HP received from healing arts, increase agility, and this one. Alright, let's try this. Let's see if we can make this work. We can try to build up our chain attack before we go in. So that we have Everyone, stuff, let's but go. let's go ahead Don't and... Let oh, shoot. Leave this to me. I didn't, uh... I didn't give Sharla blaze defense gems. with that. I'm gonna have Charlotte heal us, though. I can. Where's Charlotte? Okay, good. Can she heal around us? My rifle's getting hotter. I warn her to have her do it again. Myself. I'm gonna go ahead and cast shield on us just in case it wants to use a uh, stamp. I think I'm gonna do that a couple times. Trying to leave it to me. Timing is everything. Remember Perfect. How did that kill Sharla? Is her agility just not high enough? enough to bring uh, Charla back to life. Charlotte back to life yet? God. 
Charla, how did you not end up with a shield? It's because her, uh... Alright. What do we got now? Oh, back to the flamethrower. Oh, that's gonna hit all of us. Oh, that's gonna do lots of damage. Nothing's gonna stop me! We can definitely do this! Charla! Charla! Charla, watch out! Shulf, are you serious? Heal blast! Clear! Now we're working as one! And as one, we're unbeatable. I have to protect everyone! Behold the power of the Monado! Get a hold of yourself! Damn it, that did a lot. Hang in there! Don't give up! Where's Charla? There you are. Come back to us. Please, please do the thing, Charla. Charla, I need you to heal us, please. Thank you, base Charla. That was like... Oh, damn it. It still killed him? Even though I did it within time? Come on. All right, I'm gonna revive Dundan. Okay, what is he hitting, at, hitting me with now? Titan Stamp? Uh, lame. I really need you to not kill me. This is the Monado's power! Monado! Save us from harm! Now! Take this! Stream it! Ezra! Yeah! Good. This Keep it on me. Mark. Yes! How did it still kill her? Right. I'm feeling it. We can definitely do this! Monado, lend us your power! We can definitely do this. Ronaldo! Alright, I gotta charge up my Monado again. Sorry. Try to do Monado speed. So close, dude. All right, that won't kill me. Oh, yeah, now it will. All right, I'm feeling it. We can do myself.
that was legit. <laughs> did I have to make that fight? That did I have to fight this here? No. Was it <laughs> crazy and fun? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna save. <laughs> oh, good lord. That was, uh... Ooh, that was a thing. All right. Ooh, that was fun. And stressful, but also fun. And now we can all be level 60. Holy cow, dude. Oh, man. Oh man, those uh those skill links really came in handy there. I gotta say, if it wasn't for critical drain, that would have been impossible, I'm sure. Also the uh the agility boost in the skill tree. Oh man. Whew. Watch, we'll have to fight this guy again. Oh no, we won't. Good. Alright, so for this upcoming battle, I'm gonna put Ryan back in. Because we're gonna... Because I think at this level we should be okay to fight the boss. Um... And besides, you know, we're here for the fight to get, uh, to get Fiora back. We gotta have the OG Colony 9 crew. It just, it only makes sense. But we can finally change our equipment back. I don't think this ended up being useful at all. You know what, real quick. Let's finish getting these Ether Crystal deposits. I'm gonna make some Strength Up gems. We should be able to get a couple uh, strength up four gems. Maybe some ether up fours. Wrong thing. Oh, look at that. We got a, a four cylinder topple resist. So we could get a topple resist five if we had enough things. Strength up. God, we have so many rank 3 crystals. Holy cow. I'm Let's see if we can get that to 200. Oh, so close. Come on, guys. Oh, man. Dude, seriously? Uh, it's because we threw too many gems in here. Oh, well. I'm 
all I over that. There we go. Hey, this ain't bad. That was so close this to Mega Heat, though. That would have been great. So when you hit Mega Heat, um, which later on, I might, I don't know if I'll do this on or off stream, but uh, with Mega Heat gems. You, uh, when you make a heat gems, you actually get two of the upper level gem. So, like, if we were to make a heat, make a heat, a uh, we still only got uh, that was terrible. I got it. Thanks a lot. All right. So we'll take that uh, new strength up cylinder. Let's try to make another one. Actually, they'll probably end up making it, making the gem. Yep, there we go. All right, that's fine. Thanks a lot. Uh, that's not what I wanted, but okay. However, I did just see that we had one that was also really high over here. It was like 80%. Yeah. So if we do Shulk and Ryan, they should be I'm able to get that to close to Mega Heat. I would hope. Yes, Mega Heat. Woo! Hey, this ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. So I believe for Mega Heat, you actually want to go up. You want to get like as close as you can with cylinders to um, 200%. I think it's like 170. And then you get Shulk and Ryan together at their, their max affinity, and then you want to have everybody else have decent affinity with them. Then you can get a Mega Heat gem that's, like, perfect. Okay, do we have any ethers? Ether up. I'm all I over got that. Because then they'll, they'll mega heat it super high. This is a you want it result. to get to like 400%. I think that's when you get one that's perfect. Get a mega heat, thank you. This is better than usual. So really when you're making uh 
per when you're working on making perfect gems at the end of the game, there's a lot of save scumming involved. There's a lot. All right. Um, we haven't gotten heat sink yet, have we? Auto attack stealth is actually really good for this point of the game. Ooh, that's tempting, bro. You know what? Let's do it. I'm all I over got that. it. Can we get to 400. Wow, this is nope. absolutely mint. Close enough, though. Close enough. Any spike defense sitting around? Oh wow, it's really bad. Alright, um... Damage heal sucks. Agility up, yeah, we definitely want that. Let's make some more agility up gems. Oh wow, that got right real over. close. Alright, and let's do one more agility up. Because yeah, we don't have any quick steps, do we? No. Absolutely right, that one sucked. <laughs> oh well. Alright. So for the party, we're gonna put our highest agility ups on Dunban. Next, we're gonna put two on Shulk. Put one on Ryan. Do we have a muscle up four? No, I think we can make one. Well, you know what? Let's just we'll just leave that as it is on him. Uh, we got some strength ups. Give Dunban the best ones. Because again, he's the one that's gotta hold the aggro. the best strength of three gems that we have. You can take this off now. Actually, Dumbman's almost at max agility with those two agility up four gems, so we'll go ahead and give him uh, something useful. What's something useful? Something, something useful. What, spike defense? Just in case. Now let's go ahead and throw a spike defense on him. Or debuff resist. Do I have debuff resist? 
I don't. So let's give him ether defense up. We'll give uh actually let's let's give um We'll go with that. Okay. And we'll continue on. Oh, dang it. That's what I get for looking at uh, the screen. Okay, there was one more over here. I think we still have an area to walk through coming up here. Part of me is also thinking that, like, level 60 is still too high for this fight. I'm hoping at most he's, like, level 55. I'm kind of thinking about changing it back to 55. Face maintenance bay. Shulk, is that? Spear ones! Loads and loads of spear mechon! <sighs> it's Fiora! Wait, hold on. We have to fight Fiora? Okay, good. We don't have to actually fight Fiora. Oh god, I hate this quest. I forgot about this. So, you know, if you hit Fiora, you're in trouble. So... No, no, no. I've been bound. I was gonna go make food during that cutscene, but I didn't expect it to throw us into a fight. So level 60 is too high, I think. Yeah, maybe we should be level, like, 55. Why am I not- oh. Why do I keep targeting the wrong enemies? And every time I try to target that one over there, it won't let me target it. That's so weird. All right, hold on. Let me here, Ryan, have some encouragement. There we go. Now I can finally target this thing. Oh damn it! I hate doing that, dude. All right, there we go. Don't you recognize Shulk? Fiora! Fiora, please! Don't you remember us at all? Oh, it's no use! Everyone, it's time to retreat! Got it! Understood. Move! Shulk! Huh. 
I think so. What do we do now, Shulk? We ain't gonna last long here. Fiora! Try and remember! It's us! I pity you. Without the power of that sword, I doubt you would ever have made it this far. Apocrypha, activate. What is... Huh? Uh, mate, what's going on? What's happened to the Monado? Look out! Ah! Uh, Shulk! I'm... Uh, okay. Shulk, wait here! this right now how could you she came here to save you do you hear me fiora you must run fiora Fiora, or whoever you are. Please, run. The machine is not under my control. Not under your control? Is it him? Most surprising. I admit, I never expected such resistance to becoming a fate. Egil. Fiora, what have you done to her? From the moment of their creation, all Mekon are mine to control. Should a passenger defy me, I force it to obey. Why make Homs into Mekon? Why are you making them attack Bionis? If you wish to know, you have only to submit yourself to me. All will become clear when you attack Bionis with a new body born of Mechonis. Never! Who would ever submit to you? Forget about him. We have to get out of here. But... But what about Fiora? If we die here today, she will be... She will be lost forever. Choose. I have rendered the Monado useless. You have no hope of victory or escape. <clears throat> you chunk of scrap! So it was you who did that to the Monado! The Monado is a tool that regulates the waves of the very ether from which the world is formed. Therefore, it can be counteracted simply by releasing opposing waves. But how can you? The questions end here. Hand over the Monado. After all, it is no longer of use to you. Never! If the Monado really is powerless, then why would you want it for yourself? I will never give it to you! Never! Then make your choice. Be crushed by my fist, or slain by your old friend. <laughs> All right, guys, time for the boss fight with Goldface, which is Eggles Mechon. 
Of course, we cannot use any Monado arts in this fight. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that, you guys. My uh, my best friend called me, so of course I had to take that call. Anyway, so we were fighting Goldface, and we're gonna try to utterly destroy him. I figured he was level 60. I wasn't sure. Oh, I should have used more uh, more attacks, guys. I need you to focus, Goldface. Okay. I need you to ignore Fiora, and I need you to attack this man right here. Oh man, I should have used- I should have equipped Topple Resist Gems. Well now I just feel like a big stupid. Well, if we lose, we can always just go ahead and, uh, do the fight again later. Encourage Dunban. One of my favorite things is when you get haste going and everything on uh, Eggle ta Tail. Um, oh, that's not good. Oh, just kidding. We hit a cutscene trigger. I cannot allow this. That boy is at risk. Shulk, don't let him die. Help Shulk! Help them! Who are you? This is the end. Heir to the Monado. Whoever you are, please lend me your strength. I won't let you do this! Fiora! How dare you defy me! Worthless machine! <laughs> Thank you. No matter how much you yearn for revenge, I will not permit you to have your way. <gasps> the Madonna? But how? <gasps> no, stop! Please, survive. Will you die for them? What is this? Uh, Fiora! Not 
good. Let's get out of here. is not possible. It cannot be. The fortress has collapsed? What of Melia? And Shulk? The observation was based solely on long-range intelligence. We cannot be any more specific. You don't need to worry about them. But... Take it easy. I've got a pretty good idea where they are. If you're gonna attack, you better do it now. Their fortress ain't completely destroyed. Or do we just sit here and wait to die? Shall I perform the divination ritual now? Forgive me, Seer. That will not be necessary. From now on, we will seize our destiny with our own hands. We don't need to see the future. The Mekon forces are on their way. No doubt about it. I like the look in your eye there, lad. It's time. This! His war! Alright, friends. There was a whole lot of stuff that just happened there. So we're gonna play for like a couple more minutes, and then I'm gonna go. I'll call my, uh, my friend, and then I'll come back later. It's been a long time since I last had this dream. I reached out for a piece of scrap metal. And then I fell into the ground. Was I... Was I... dreaming? Uh. Fiora! What's that? Oh my god, this area looks so gorgeous. Oh my god. Just look at it. Alright. Hopefully this is Fiora. Fiora, we're coming! Fiora.
Fiora. She's still breathing. Wake up. <sighs> Come on. Wake up. <sighs> she needs water. All right, we got to go get our girlfriend water. Thank God there happens to just be a nice little spring over here. Fiora, you're awake. Um, do you remember? My name is Sh I can't believe it. My first kiss. You do remember me, Fiora. Of course I do, Shulk. I never forgot you or the others. Then... why? Because... I wasn't me anymore. I wanted to call out, but I couldn't. What do you mean? When it happened. When Colony 9 was attacked by the Mekon. I thought I had died. I felt the Mechon's claw rip through me. I couldn't remember anything. There was no sound, no light, no pain. When I came round, I had the body of a machine. And it felt like there was someone inside me. Someone else? The one who was controlling the Mechon you were in? Yes, that voice. But I could still see and hear. I was there all the time. Except I had no control over my body, and I couldn't talk. That's why it seemed like you didn't recognize us. Yes. Inside my heart, I was crying out desperately. But you didn't hear me. Nobody did. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. I know it would have confused me. But... the person inside you... Do you know who it was? No. I heard her voice when she spoke, but I didn't know what she was thinking. There was something she urgently needed to do. I understood that much. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she's sleeping. Or maybe she's trapped like I was. I hope she stays trapped. Hijacking your body, treating it like it's her own. I, 
I guess. I say good riddance. And let that be the end of it. Um, Shulk? I don't think she's totally to blame. Why not? She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. I just know it was important. I want to help. Why would you? I knew she was using my body. But I didn't hate her for it. She was kind. She was taking care of my body. I could feel it. Really? Yeah. And she did everything she could to protect you. So, back when we were fighting... Against Egu, she knew what I wanted to do, and did it for me. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can to find out what she was trying to do. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome back, Fiora. I'm glad to be here. What do we do now? We have to find the others. I know they're alive. I can feel it. Everyone's gonna be surprised when they see you. Everyone being? Ryan, Dunban, and there are a few others we met along the way. Sharla, Ricky, and Melia. I just know you're gonna like them. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. Yeah. But nothing's gonna separate us now. Come on, let's start searching. My heart, you guys. The queen is back. Best girl Fiora is back. Oh, but she looks so good in her new model. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Um, I gotta go, but hold on. So now we gotta find our friends. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna check uh, skill trees and arts and all that stuff, and I'll show that off to you guys next time. Because now we have Fiora back! Yay! I missed her so much. Alright, I will see you guys in a bit.